know where your towel is? Greetings, Earthlings. I'm Dr. Will, and welcome to Dr. Will Presents. So the COVID-19 planetary stress test is well underway, and some of us are passing, and some of us not so much. Yo, if you like content like this, then whack the old subscribe button below and you'll get it. So let's start with a bit of context. We've all seen this graph. It's an animated GIF or GIF. The point of social distancing is to flatten the curve. The orange line shows the treatment capacity, how able the healthcare system is to take care of those who are infected. Note that it's pointless to argue that the system should have had capacity to handle the peak without early containment measures. That would represent tremendous and unaffordable excess capacity during normal white swan times. Note that with early containment measures, the inflection point, that is the point where the instantaneous slope of the curve, the first derivative, is equal to zero, that is, where the shifts from positive growing to negative shrinking, that moves to the right. With early containment, the turn to negative growth or shrinking is later. So the bottom line is you don't want to be the star in the purple here. You're much better off being the star in the green. The later you get it, and you will probably get it, the better you will be treated and the greater your chances of a positive outcome. Finally, the curves don't change no matter how much toilet paper you have on hand. The sensationalism of the press stokes panic. Remember, newsworthy equals dramatic and scary. The bottom line of the press is pumped up when they get and hold your attention. Eventually, everybody's going to die. It's going to stop working. But until then, expect more of the same. In particular, comparisons to the Spanish flu of a century ago are probably getting a bit overblown. Recall, if you will, that 100 years ago, some physicians believed in the germ theory of disease. Others thought the flu was caused by miasma. There have been some good and thoughtful articles written recently about COVID-19, mostly written by the scientific community, which is to say, not by journalists and certainly not by politicians. When you read them, you'll discover a couple things. First, this is not the apocalypse, zombie or otherwise. Second, social distancing is having a net positive effect of slowing the spread of the disease, allowing the treatment capacity to catch up or get ahead of it. So, treat this as an unplanned staycation, Unless you or a loved one is ill, try to derive a bit of enjoyment from this unplanned downtime. The regular hustle and bustle will be back with us soon enough. But until then, take a moment, read a book, take a walk, be there for each other. Like many such crises, some of us are acting irrationally. Most of us are keeping our heads. The supply chain for food and necessities is intact. This is not a hurricane. It's not a global thermonuclear war. Those who are acting irrationally are perhaps more to be pitied than loathed. But notice that their reaction to their fear is an immediate every man out for himself and devil take hindmost. This means that in time of crisis, these people will not have your back. Once the dust settles, I'd recommend slowly acquiring a couple weeks worth of food necessities to keep on hand. I'm not saying be a prepper. I'm saying that your safety stock in your household inventory should be on the order of a couple weeks. In other words, if your household inventory policy is just in time, that means you are relying on your suppliers to always have the inventory on hand when you need it. How's that working out for you? Finally, two good bits of advice from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It is said that despite its many glaring and occasionally fatal inaccuracies, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy itself has outsold the Encyclopedia Galactica because it is slightly cheaper and because it has the words, don't panic, in large friendly letters on the cover. The second quote, somebody who can stay in control of virtually any situation is somebody who is said to know where their towel is. That is, a towel has immense psychological value. For some reason, if a strag, that is a non-hitchhiker, discovers that a hitchhiker has his towel with him, he will automatically assume that he is also in possession of a toothbrush, washcloth, soap, tin of biscuits, flask, compass, map, ball of string, Nat spray, wet weather gear, spacesuit, etc., etc. Furthermore, the strag will then happily lend the hitchhiker any of these or a dozen other items that the hitchhiker may have accidentally lost. What the strag will think is that any man who can hitch the length of the and breadth of the galaxy, rough it, slum it, struggle through against terrible odds, win through and still know where his towel is, is clearly a man to be reckoned with. So, don't panic. 
and always know where your towel is. Thanks for stopping by today. Remember, a conversation is always more interesting than a monologue. So write your comments below and don't forget to whack the old subscribe button. You'll get more content like this. That's it for me for you for now. I hope you have a great week ahead. Remember, be careful out there. Wash your hands. I'll be seeing you. Bye.